I haven't been into surfing as long as windsurfing. I started windsurfing when I was young at like 11 and 12 and 13. I was living in the Caribbean. From there, I moved to San Diego. That's when I started surfing because there was no wind in San Diego. So I went to the next natural thing. And I started uh, about 15 or 16, I started watching a local shaper um, just shape. And I never had any intentions of shaping at that point, but I just enjoyed going there and watching the process. And, and I think that's, what got me hooked to surfing and, and I've always had a passion for surfing and love surfing and it's been a big part of my life. I would say probably 10 years ago, maybe a little bit more, I was working with Matt Kinoshita on his machine and he was making my surfboards and I was doing wind surfboards at that time. And, and so he gave me a couple of my surfboard files that he had designed for me and that was what kind of started me and, and that's when I started uh, you know just shaping my own surfboards and it's just been a slow evolution you know for the last 10-12 years and I think really about four years ago is when I really started putting a lot of energy into it and that's been fun and, and enjoyable. I think Maui is definitely one of the better places for R&D. You know, you go from Piahi Jaws at 30 feet to Hokipa at 2 feet to Honolulu Bay at 8 feet. And, and the riders need such different equipment for different waves. And so that's really pushed me to get them what they need. And also because I ride all these waves, it, it allows me to um, kind of have a better idea of what I think I need for those waves. And then that translates into to the riders. And then that translates to the end consumer who, who comes to me and orders a board. And you know, I can ask the questions of where they're surfing and what they need. And then, and then I can pull from my knowledge of surfing and what I've given my team guys and then get that to them. The first athlete to come get boards for me was Kane Daly. And that was, I think, a good uh, kind of, I don't want to say a turning point, but it was, it was kind of a turning point for me and, you know, puts a little more pressure on myself to, to provide him with the tools that he needs in the boards and, you know, develop that. And I think working with those riders and seeing those riders and getting the confidence that, that I was making boards that were allowing them to get where they wanted to get um, just pushed me to make board, more boards for myself, surf more and just be a part of that and just enjoying. Someone did come to me and wanted a Jaws board. Francisco Porcella, he rides for me as well in the big wave side of things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course you're nervous when you're making a, a board that's going to go out in 20 to 30 foot jaws. Or even if you're working with a new rider that's really good. Kai Barger came and got some boards, you know, and, and you, you want to make a, something that they like because it's, you know, your whole emotional <laughs> being is kind of invested in this and you want to feel like, you know, you're going to provide something for them that's that's gonna make them feel things that they don't feel or get places they don't normally get. And so, you know, on the jaw side of the thing, of course I'm nervous. It's, you know, it's, a, it's, it's death defying out there. And it's important that you make something that's gonna get them and keep them safe and, and get them out of harm's way if they need. You know, I got lucky with Francisco because he charges and he's willing to charge, you know, and he's willing to take a chance.
for me, it's it's super rewarding when the riders are, are are happy and you see the results. You see the big errors they're doing. You see the flow that they're getting, and you can you can see that you're affecting their lives in a positive way. Or you see. Francisco super stoked when he came in from this session because he was making waves and it was stable and then that just pushes me to go okay what can I do to make it even better. I think for me what this is about is just growing something organically making relationships with riders from Kai Barger to Matt Miola to Kane Daly to Francisco and just honestly it's just about making really good boards for myself and having a good time and, and, and progressing and, and, and making this grow and eventually making a living from it but more importantly just having relationships with riders that are really good or just, just the normal end consumer and just uh, having a really good time.